Hello everyone, this is Soviet Russian Bear. The time has come to record episode 7 of my Omegle conversations with people about Ukraine. Uh, the first guy in the sixth episode put up a great debate. I hope uh, I'll meet another one like him. So, enough talk, let's start the show. Three, two, one. Hello. Hi, where Hi. are you from? I'm from Russia, and where are you from? I'm from Indonesia. Okay, Indonesia. Yeah. <clears throat> so, right. I'm actually talking about the current situation, bro. So, what do you think? Uh, about what? About the current what? situation, like the war. Uh, uh, well, now, both of Russia and Ukraine... Mm -hmm spread uh, fake news hoax to get support from people around you know mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i mean not only russia but also ukraine because now ukraine have no power anymore mm -hmm. maybe if just russia and ukraine they can be balanced or maybe not really really balanced and ukraine mm -hmm. got lost but now belarus join it mm -hmm. so like i've seen some videos of yeah put of this country making some trying to fake mm -hmm. trying to make some fake news about war to get someone's sympathy mm -hmm. or something like that you got mm -hmm. it yeah 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 so i don't think nato is going to intervene and russia is going to win the war yes because they are not really, really brave to to challenging Russia mm -hmm. to fight with. Okay. Well, yeah. actually, if, um, if just Russia, I, I think NATO and America can do that, but Russia has some friends near that, like China and someone, uh, like another country or not Korea. That India, you true. Okay. India, too. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what people are afraid of. <laughs> Especially not Korea. <laughs> okay. Look, and uh, the Western countries are trying to impose sanctions, but those sanctions d don't really doesn't don't really work. And the ruble is regaining its value. Like it was like one yeah. one one hundred and thirty dollars per uh, rubles per dollar, and now yeah. it's like only one hundred rubles per dollar. So, and meanwhile, the gas prices in the U.S. are skyrocketing what the gas gasoline prices in the united states are skyrocketing well i have no idea about facing something and i'm not good about it mm -hmm. just here yeah, i just noticed if rubble is have a increased value again yes the yes i've seen the, the exchange rate and it has increased mm -hmm. value yes i've seen the exchange okay Do you have any questions? Uh, what do your people think? Like, what the what news channels do you read? What do Indonesian news channels? Uh, well, uh, actually, to be honest, mostly for people, they are support Russia. Mm -hmm. Because because uh, we usually make a meme about Putin's mm -hmm. like. Or something like that about Russia, like alcohol, uh, vodka, or snow, or something like that. And yeah, they yeah. are closer in Russia than Ukraine. So okay. Actually, yeah. if we talking about Ukraine, people here may be asking, what is Ukraine? Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, people here kind of lazy to reading something or find some information. Mm -hmm. If some uh, news or channel giving uh, fake news, we will get it without trying to find a uh, source or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for talking to me. Bye. Have, have a good one. Have a nice one. Bye. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. <laughs> At least you're not skipping me. Yeah. Great. Okay. Where are you from? Denmark. Excuse me? Denmark? 
Oh, you Denmark. Okay. Okay, let's talk. Uh, okay, I'm actually talking about the current situation between Russia, Ukraine, and the so. Direct question: Who do you support? Uh, Ukraine, obviously. Oh, why is that? Uh, Ukraine is the underdog. Uh, Russia is very. Um, it's very um, aggressive towards Ukraine. Uh, obviously, you don't know. The, pre- yeah. the prehistory of the conflict. I do, yeah. Oh, really? You do? So what do you know? Oh, well, of course, it's a very complicated conflict just because, of course, like, like there, are, there is a very significant even uh, Russian minority in Ukraine. Yes, the Donbass. Which, which is also why they did invade um, Crimea. But I don't think it's significant enough. What do you mean? Like millions of people of ethnic Russians are uh, lived in Crimea. Now they are part of Russia in Donbass. Like a lot of ethnic Russians lived in Donbass, like about eight or maybe 10 million. I I don't believe there is enough um, to believe that there is a significant proportion right now in the proportion that are living here okay okay but just because in your opinion the proportion is not significant does not mean that the kiev government has the right to oppress them to ban their language and to kill them when they disagree with the 2014 coup d'etat no no Well, you see, in 2014, a coup d'etat happened in Kiev and raging, uh, raging ultranationalists came to power. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, my man. How are you? Where are you from? I'm good. I'm from Russia. Where are you from? You're from Russia. Yes. From Ukraine. Oh, from Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Flag. Yeah, the flag. So actually i'm talking in english here and uh, i would uh, like to ask you a question you can do it come on okay i can do it yes you can at least you didn't tell me to go fuck myself and that's good so my question is do you think that uh, ukrainian army will be defeated no definitely not why not why not because we are strong we are fighting for our freedom and uh, the truth is on our side and also we are more advanced Uh, yes excuse me uh by more advanced what do you mean uh by the equipment that you see on the field uh, in use so Russian side uh, even though they have more finances on the uh, countryside they do not have so much finance uh, in the army you can see that in their equipment in the Ukrainian side is much better also our whole country works for that um, everybody is for uh, our people they value the lives of Ukrainians which is not seen on the Russian side. I think your army <laughs> should just surrender. Uh, it will save more lives. Maybe. But maybe not. Okay, I'll go to another one. Okay. Because Bye. I'm, I'm searching for music. Do svidania. So Do svidania. Hello. Hello. How are you? I can't hear you. I'm doing good. Good, good, can good. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Now, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I can. Are you from Russia? Or... Yes, I'm from Russia. And where are you from? India. India. Okay. So, uh, who do you support in the conflict? I, I, I support like. Um, it's like very hard to choose a side, but basically, Russia. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, like you know, NATO is like what NATO has, has been doing. Like you basically collect five to six countries and surround Russia. So like 
that in the first place is wrong. Like you cannot form a union and bully a country into war and then blaming them for attacking. You're basically yeah. provoking. You you are provoking a country by uh, bringing your troops towards them. So mm-hmm. Russia has not attacked. Russia has defended itself from the troops. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being smart. Thank you for th- thinking. Yeah, good. So I would like to ask you a question about the Indian media coverage. What do they say? India is pretty neutral because of Russia's support. In the mm-hmm. uh, 1971 war, we had mm-hmm. versus Pakistan. Mm-hmm. Russia supported us. So basically, we are like in the between because India doesn't mm-hmm. want to spoil trade mm-hmm. with neither US nor Russia. Mm-hmm. So India is like standing in the middle. Yeah. And uh, other countries like it's it's all about trade like it doesn't mm-hmm. matter like, yeah no one cares about putin or biden it's about trade mm-hmm. so. okay yeah. yeah that's good that's good like um uh, who, who do you support uh, of course i am russian i support my motherland of course no 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 it's, i mean your motherland cannot be right every time but like this time who do you support of course i support russia Yeah. NATO should have broken up when Soviet Union broke. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And that's totally wrong. Mm-hmm. And then now, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Like, we mm-hmm. heard, like, uh, worshipping Zelensky. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense because he is just a puppet of the West. The basic war is the same the Cold War. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Thank you for talking to me. Bye bye. Have a nice one. Thank you. I appreciate the th- thinking person. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine too. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Indonesia, bro. Okay. You know Indonesia? Yes, yes, I know Indonesia is a good country. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your name, by the way? My name is Yuri. Yuri? Yes. Mm, are you really from Russia? Yes, I am from Russia. Yeah, nice. Thank you. I like in Russia. Yeah, thank you. So, Ura. Yeah, I'm actually talking about the current situation, the conflict. Do you support Russia? Who do you support? Or you don't support anyone? Uh, I'm literally uh, neutral. Or... Neutral? Hello. Oh. Hello. So how... Are you Russian? Yes, I am. Нет войне. Согласен. What? Well, I agree, but only after the the Ukrainian army falls, they should surrender. <laughs> they will never surrender. You think so? Yes. Because they have so much strength in their heart. They want to fight for their country. Mm, well, I've seen a lot of them surrendering before. Yes, because they were alone. But Ukraine is connected to Europe. And they are receiving a lot of weapons. And a lot of they it gets surrender. destroyed before it could even reach the front lines. No, as and long North- as they have... Those launchers, they don't have a need. They don't need really planes or anything. Just like launchers to destroy the tanks. Listen, have you heard about the missile attack on Yavorovsky Polygon, Yavorovsky training base? Like it killed a lot of foreign mercenaries. Yes, but at one point they won't have any military base people will just be in the house and look through the window shoot the rocket to a tank and that's it so what's important you, it's the heart so you approve of them like hiding on rooftops of civilian house and shooting at tanks using civilians as human shields but we, we could say those people are civilians that they, they are not really an army maybe one month ago there were I don't know, a baker, anything. 
Okay. But they are fighting for their country, yes. I think fighting for your country using civilians as human shield is, is cowardly. Yes, but they don't. It's just their, their home, their city. They fight in it. Okay, at least let civilians leave. Let the civilians leave, evacuate them, and then fight. Well, evacuating, that's not easy, because Putin is saying, okay, you can go this way, and then he's shooting at people. <laughs> so That's bullshit. You cannot even trust. No, you, you can search online. You, you can see it. It's, it's, like, it's not propaganda, as Putin is doing. That's actually what the Ukrainian and the neo-Nazis doing. They're shooting. I've seen a lot of videos of them shooting uh, people leaving the cities. Telegram, a lot of on Telegram channels, on YouTube channels. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, you are so brainwashed. Yeah, sure I am. And what about you, huh? I'm Where... not because. In my country, like people, that all all opinion are accepted, but in Russia, no. Just what Putin wants. Where are you from? France. France? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, yes. Yes. In France, you can criticize the president. That's okay. Yeah, you can criticize the the president, and and he will. <laughs> And he will send uh, riot police to beat up the protesters. Only when they destroy things. And e even so, it's okay. They won't go to jail or anything. <laughs> but you, you have to understand, in Russia right now, it's becoming like North Korea. <laughs> no, we're just yes. destroying traitors. What traitors? Well, who? those who spread fake news about the war. The, <laughs> it's not fake news. It, it is, is fake reality. News. <laughs> no, you have, you live in a different reality. Well, if you don't believe that, then yeah, you are so brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that the truth will emerge. I know this is a lot of misinformation right now, but uh, the ultimately the truth will all, always prevail I, I i hope that people like like you will suffer so much from sanctions <laughs> that in one year you will think oh no war no war ever oh, it's, speaking, it is so bad speaking of sanctions how do you enjoy higher gas gasoline prices oh it, it's bad but yeah. it's okay because at least we're trying to save ukraine's lives Ukraine is thousands of kilometers away from you. I think your gas prices should be more important. No, because we care about humans. Putin, he does not. <laughs> and I know you will say it's propaganda, but Putin put bombs in like uh, 1999 and put the blame on the Chechen. Well, speaking of Chechens, they are now fighting on the Russian side. They are killing the neo-Nazis in Ukraine, and they are great for that. They are Muslim fighters killing neo-Nazis. Yes, because they are just the, the bitch or the puppy of Putin. You know, he killed them so much that now they have to do what he says, or he might kill them all again, and nobody is going to do anything about it. <laughs> so... You think they they were fighting Russia and now they suddenly afraid? <laughs> you, I th you don't make any sense, bro. You don't. Yes, they, they got so destroyed. Nobody helped them back in the days. Like 20, 25,000 people died. Like, have you, have you seen the video of the neo-Nazi Azov battalion hiding in kindergarten? A lot of such videos circulates on Telegram, Telegram channels. So neo-Nazis were hiding in kindergarten. And then they say, oh, it's Russia bombs kindergartens. Well, no shit, because neo-Nazis and the Ukrainian army are hiding there. Okay, so you're saying neo-Nazis, there are a lot. In the last elections, there was maybe like 2 to 5% who, 
for the neo Nazis in the, the election. It's not much. It's just normal people living in Ukraine. But Putin wants it because he wants the USSR back. I don't think he wants USSR back. I think he wants just security of Russia because he doesn't want a hostile NATO bloc moving closer to Russia's borders. I mean, Russia is still, I mean, from like Lithuania, it's still rather close to Russia, so it won't be that much closer. Just but, 70 uh, kilometers. But Ukraine has much like bigger, much long, larger border with Russia than Lithuania or any of the Baltics. So it is a, a bigger threat. And if you like deploy missiles near the city of Kharkov, the time they can reach Moscow is only four minutes. So it is a threat. Yes, though we all know NATO is never going to attack Russia. It's not evil like Russia. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, and oh, this yeah, is what the Ukraine evil. wants. Oh, the NATO is so not evil that they kill a lot of people in Yugoslavia, in Iraq, in Libya, in Afghanistan. NATO is so not evil. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Have you seen what Putin has done in Syria? He has, he has been killing child and why, women every day. And I also have seen what NATO is, has done in Yugoslavia, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in, in Libya. Yes, I, I don't know much about those, so I don't want to talk about it. Okay, but bye. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. Where are you from? Uh, Russia. Russia? Yeah. Серьезно, что ли? Да, да. Понятно. We, we support Ukraine. Я тебя тебя. What do you support? Ukraine. We Ukraine? Ukraine? Why? Yes. Because Vladimir Putin, he is some weird next view. Like he's some done out some like that. I mean. I disagree. Why? Well, who do you support? Ukraine or Russia? I support Russia, of course. Why? Why? How come? Because I am Russian. It's my home, my motherland. How can I not support it? Do you like Do you like Vladimir Putin? Though? Great guy. Really? Why? You met him? No, I didn't meet him in person, but I want to. He's, he's brainwashing everyone in your country. No, I don't think so. What What news do you get told in your country? News? Yeah, it, it's in, what do you get told about the war? About you know the, the war? Yeah, do you know there's a war? Yeah, I know about the war, sure, I'm following it, that um, Russia is there to kill the neo-Nazis and to replace the government. You're literally like Hitler-esque, do you understand that? Really? Am I? I am saying Hitler was a Nazi and Russia is killing neo-Nazis who supporters of Hitler. Okay, so uh, is that what you're being told? My great granddad was fighting Nazis. He was at the Kursk Battle of Kursk. So, if Nazis, my granddad fought Nazis too. In Italy. Oh, in Italy, yeah. So, uh, the, my. Do you think... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, do you think uh, Putin is just killing killing innocent Ukrainians as well? Well, I think. The Ukrainian army is using very cowardly tactics like hiding equipment, artillery, tanks in residential areas and climb on rooftops of residential buildings and fire ATGMs from the civilian rooftops. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. So, where are you from? Kurdistan. Kurdistan? Like Iraqi Kurdistan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, girl. Uh, so I'm actually talking about the <coughs> situation between Russia and Ukraine. So you know the war. So do you support any side? Russia. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're beautiful. Even though you're you you. Wear, wearing a mask, you're probably... Without that mask, you're probably a very beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So, do you think Putin is a great guy? 
Yeah. Mm, thank you. He's at least manly, not fucking like Zelensky, a faggot. Yeah, Zelensky, he's just a fucking clown. He plays grand piano with his, you know... <laughs> and he wears high heels, like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. What Making a comedian your leader, don't you think that's a bit retarded? Oh, yeah, I absolutely agree. Like, he... But I have to give him that, that he's a good comedian, he's a good actor. So he should stick to acting and not become a politician. Like, not everyone can be Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. Really? Yes, I. Can I... Tell from the accent, you're not from. I am. Where a... do you live right now? I live in Russia, in the city of Tambov. Tambov. I have always been a fan of Russia. I mm. was planning to come and study there, but like all of a sudden, it's like they hate go goatscape now everyone all of a sudden hates it because mm -hmm. of social media and it's absolutely bullshit making a comedian your leader and you believe his bullshit acts mm -hmm. the propaganda the ghost of kiev the 13 men of snake island fucking yeah. bullshit yeah the ghost of kiev was just a computer game and the people at snake island were actually alive they surrendered yeah i know i know they surrendered and after mm -hmm. they found out how Zelensky just already gave them the hero award, mm -hmm. already buried mm -hmm. them, that's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah, that's embarrassing, absolutely, yeah. Okay, so, do you think, I don't think NATO will ever intervene. They won't. They won't, yeah, absolutely, because they're scared it's of... It's all talking, it, yeah. it's all, all talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're no, right. unless unless they want a World War Three, it won't happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't think they're stupid enough. Although this, their leaders are probably psychopaths, but they are not idiots. Yeah. Imagine Germany leaves NATO. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look. I've seen about it. Mm -hmm. So you know, Europe and the United States they suffer from high gas prices gasoline prices yeah they mm -hmm. are yeah they've messed up big time and now they have to pay they have to pay for it like what yeah. were they thinking russia provides most of it mm -hmm. yeah yeah you're right russia is the greatest supplier of i'm sorry you're lagging your internet connection is not stable are you with me are you still with me uh Girl, are you still with me? Beauty, sleeping beauty. Come on. Mm. Such a great person and her internet is lagging. Are you from Russia? Yes, I am. Yeah, fuck you. Stop fucking invading oh, Ukraine, you little you bastard. Too. Fuck you fuck too. You. Fuck you no, too. Fuck you. Fuck Invade you too. Ukraine, fuck you too. Prick. Yeah, yeah. You fuck wanna you go? Too. Yeah. I'll fuck. I'll, I'll fucking. I'll, I'll fucking. Yeah. Go fucking kill yourself. You <laughs> prick. Go fucking. You kill. What TikTok? Hey. Ah, I'm stressed. Привет. А вы с Украины что ли? Нет. А вы с России? Нет. Ну. Девчонки. Да. Ну. Мои родители из России. Мои родители из Казахстана. И мы родились в Германии. А вы сейчас в Германии, что ли? Да. А, ну понятно. Слушайте, я тут видео записываю, в основном на английском языке. Let's, let's speak English. Все? Окей. Окей, let's speak English. So okay. you're, you are Russian girls in Germany. Yes. yes. Do you feel the racism because of the conflict? Yes. So, what happened to you? Please, share your story. Because I need to tell people that Russians have become like the new Jews of Third Reich. Uh, please, girls, if it's not like too painful for you, c could you share your stories of being treated unfairly just because, the f simply based on the fact that you're Russian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so... I'm gonna start first. Okay, go you on. know, in my school there are a lot of German people. Mm -hmm. They're very strict German, and since the war started, we have this in our subject and politics. 
And um, because I'm Russian, I always got asked what is, how it is for me, the war. And sometimes I got called Russian grenade. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes if you walk around the street and talk with your mom in Russian, it's like, oh, the Russians are here. And yeah. Oh. It's your turn, baby girl. <laughs> okay, like next girl, uh, brunette girl, please share your story. Okay, in school, I um, wear a um, jacket. There was a mm -hmm. Russian flag. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, teacher, my sport, my uh, sport teacher. Uh, physical yeah. education, yeah. Yes, yes, teacher, yeah. He, um, she said, uh, she she said to me that I have to um, put this off, mm -hmm. the jacket, mm -hmm. and then this was not. This was not the one. Uh, was this as my the first time? The first time, yes. Mm -hmm. And when I go with this jacket in street mm -hmm. on the street, sorry, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, on the street. And I, the 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 people mm -hmm. looked at me. Oh, yes, that was like this is Komash. Weird, weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I heard a lot of stories like Russians. Some restaurants do not allow you in. If yes. You, yeah, and even like they banned Russian cats. What the fuck that did cats do to them? Like, and. Uh, there are even instances of doctors <laughs> of doctors refusing to treat Russian patients yeah that's that's fucked up that's uh, just like yes. people need to stop hating Russians just because they are Russian yes because we don't have anything to do with the war okay yeah anyway girls Beautiful, you're beautiful. Thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, bye. bye. Bye, bye. Hello. Hello. Respect and have a good day, my friend. Oh, thank you. Hello. Russia. Yeah. Russia, священная наша держава. Yeah, thank you. Where are you from, my friend? I'm from Serbia, my friend. Serbia? Yeah, good. Любим вас. Мы вас любим. Волим у вас. И ми вас. Почему? Why? Because you are our big brothers. Mm. <laughs> Well, we are, and uh, I hope our army will win. Yeah, same. <laughs> I hope you will win. Yes, thank you. Our army must win. Because, you must win, because yeah. the fascists come must not spread. Yes, I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything. And NATO must not expand. Y yes. You know, NATO is a threat to Russia. Yes, yes. It's not just a threat to Russia, it's a threat to the whole world. Mm -hmm. Well, see you, my friend. Have okay. a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Hello. You are Russian? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like Russian. Thank you. And where are Thank you, you from? We are from Egypt. Egypt, okay. Okay, but uh, the war having yeah. a lot of problems in our world. Mm -hmm. We don't like that, okay? Yeah, okay. Or we can we can find something else, uh, mm -hmm. peace, not war. Why war? Well, you see, after Ukraine army is defeated and Ukraine denazified, there will be peace. Yes, but the, the fucking government in Ukraine must fall. We've tried diplomacy, mm -hmm. but they don't observe the Minsk II accord. They just yes. don't. I understand you, but uh, the problem is uh, what uh, 
ذا بروبلم عايز اقول له ايه يا اسطى عايز اقول له مين اللي علمك الانجليزي؟ ذا بروبلم از وات هابن ان ذا وورلد رايت ناو اوكي لايك بيد لايك بيرد لايك فودز ذيس از ماتش ماتش ايه يا اسطى عايز انا عايز اجمع الكلام بالعربي اقول الكلام بالعربي مش عارف والله والله بالعربي هي دونت لاف روشيا هي دونت لايك روشيا Why? Because he say he always say he, Putin is not a good man. Why? Why does he think so? Why you think so, man? He's, uh, he thinks that <laughs> he thinks that I don't know why, but uh, I like Russia, but Thank I you. don't like the government of Russia. Okay, and, but and I like you, love you, Ukraine. Okay, okay, okay. You thank you for your position. Bye. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're from Serbia? I'm from Russia. Russia, live Russia. Yeah. I love Putin. Thank you. Where are you from? From Israel. Israel, okay. So, yeah. what do you think? About what? About the war. I'm with Putin. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, if, if one day I will fight with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank But you. I because mm -hmm. my passport is Palestinian, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, thank you. Like, um, I think Russia will win. We all uh, think Russia will win because uh, Russia is the most powerful country in mm -hmm. the world. Yeah. Even America, fuck America. <laughs> <laughs> NATO is not going to intervene. No, never. I love the United Soviet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I wish it's come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for your position. Thank you. Hi. Hello, Privet. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. What's your name? My name is Yuri. Yuri. Hello, Yuri. I'm my Minya Zavut Nathan. Privet. Privet. Where are you from? I am from Sisha. USA, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yes, what, what about you? Uh, I see the Russian flag. Russia. Yes, I am from Russia. Yes. Как дела, by the way? Нормально, хорошо. А у тебя как? How are you? Я хорошо. Mm -hmm. Прекрасно. Yes, you, you, like, uh, you like Ukraine? Uh, I like Ukraine as a country, but not what's going on there. The, what is happening there is like the war and the, you know the war had to be done because we need to stop the government the regime in kiev uh-huh gotcha and you you probably know vladimir putin well i don't know him personally but i support him i voted for him in for 2018 election well that's nice Good. congrats bro. yeah thank you yeah yeah you're welcome do you, do you like boxing playing boxing Yes, and what about you? Yes, I like playing it. I have real boxing, so I fight with someone named mm -hmm. Ilya Petrokin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Hello. What's up? What's up? Well, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you from? I'm from India. Mm. I'm I'm from Russia. Russian yeah, flag. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. What do you do in Russia? I work as an engineer. You work as an engineer. Yes. Uh, my father is a medical plant in Russia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you who do you support? Uh, for Russia and Ukraine. Yeah. I support neither of them. I support peace. You support neither? Why? Wow, good position. Because I met either who support Russia or either either or either support Russia or Ukraine. So you support neither. Yeah, because like both of them are satisfied on their side and they're mm -hmm. good with their side. You mm -hmm. understand, like yeah. Russia is saying on their side, and Ukraine is saying for their side. Mm -hmm. Everyone's mm -hmm. struggling for their life. Mm -hmm. Like 
that's what independence is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank We you. We fought for independence. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hello. 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 How are you? Oh my God! We both like Russia and Ukraine. You, yeah, you're yeah. a crazy person. <laughs> why? Why am I crazy? Explain, please. Yes, because you know, these days you're supposed to pick a side, but I do the same. <laughs> I pick Russia. Well, I am on the Russian side. All right. Uh, привет. Привет. Nicholas. You see the R- Russian flag. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Russia. Russia, yeah. Uh, Romania. Oh, Bucharest. Romania. Okay, Romania. So, hmm. actually, uh, pe- I I meet people on Omegle from Romania like rarely. Yeah, I don't think we have enough booze to get on Omegle that often. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So, do you think NATO will intervene? I think they will never intervene. I think Ukrainians will. Ah, th- this war is just wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, the war is wrong. But you see, my friend, I think the Ukrainian government should have observed the Minsk II accords. If they observed the Minsk II accords, this war wouldn't have happened. I think. Uh, I think there's a previous treaty to that, the Budapest Treaty, which guarantees the integrity of the... And, and let's not go there. Uh, mm. uh, because, I don't know, Ukrainians have a right to live. And, okay. uh, and they, right these days... I mean, the way I see it, two months mm-hmm. ago, uh-huh. maybe Ukraine wasn't a real country. Mm-hmm. Right now it is, because the way they're fighting for their independence, this is how you create a country, you know? It's the struggle. So, I don't know. I don't mind you. I don't mind Ukraine being an in a separate country, but I just don't like it to be in. Don't want it to join NATO. I think Ukraine should be like some sort of alliance, like Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine, like try three, three. That's not going to happen anymore. Why? Uk- because Ukrainians hate Russians right now. They hate them to the very bottom. And the next time they see mm. somebody from Russia, I wouldn't try- say I wouldn't I wouldn't speak for all Ukrainians. But once we defeat the army and denazify their country, I think the the Nazis are only the Azov thing, right? That's Mariupol. Uh, but come on. Zelensky is Jewish. Is that guy a Nazi? Well, I've seen a lot of people saying that argument. I'm sorry. I. Hi. Yeah. Hello. What's up? How's life? Oh, it's going good. I'm okay. Like my life is fine. What about you? I am doing fantastic. Mm-hmm. You're from the U.S., right? I'm from yeah. from Russia. You're from Russia. Yeah. This you see the Russian flag. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so you're a you're part of wait. So you support Russia? Yes, my wait, motherland. So you, like, you, so you like Putin? I voted for him in 2018 election. Hmm. So so you like Putin? Mm-hmm. You want him to kill Ukrainians? No, I want him to just defeat the Ukrainian army and to denazify it and demilitarize it. Why? Because the current regime in Ukraine is extremely hostile to Russia, and we don't want Ukraine to join NATO. Never. What's wrong? You, you can join NATO. Well, I think it's a threat to Russia's security. Hmm. Okay, I see where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. Hi. Zorro. Yeah. Yo, what's yeah. up? Delay. You wearing a Zoro mask? Yes. Why? For no fucking reason. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. So I'm actually talking about like the current situation. No. War. The war. The conflict. Who do you support? It's a civil war. I don't care. 
Okay, okay. Do you think NATO, you live in a NATO country, so do you think NATO should intervene? NATO go back to America. Europe starts to Portugal, to Siberia. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, do you think Russian army will win? Mm, no, because they are part of Europe. So no care about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like 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 Ukrainians, mm -hmm. like you Russian like Ukrainians, mm -hmm. Europeans like Russian Ukraine, but NATO and America earn money mm -hmm. about that. About go back NATO and all Europe fight America. Mm -hmm. okay. Only that. Okay. Thank you. Moin Moin. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm good too. But are you currently now in Ukraine? No, I'm in Russia. You were in Russia? Yes, I am. But you support Ukraine or are you... I am. I support Russia, my motherland. Okay. So you think what Putin is doing is correct? Yes, it's sort of correct. Although it could be avoided, but he's doing what he's doing because diplomacy failed. So why why do you think like why why did he started everything like? Well, you see, my friend, that uh, the Ukrainian government they didn't observe the Minsk II agreement. Uh, they didn't. They continued to shell Donbass republics to to attack them. So they were preparing a provocation, a huge provocation, maybe with nuclear in nuclear weapons, so we had to intervene to stop that. Okay, so don't you think, like, it could have been, like, resolved by talking or diplomatic talks, like whatever Russia is doing right now, killing lots of people, damaging lots of property, is that okay? Of course it's not okay, but uh, Russia didn't simply didn't have any other choice. Like we've been trying to reason to reason up to reason with Kiev for eight for eight seven so for seven to eight years, and it didn't help. So it it was clear to us that the, the government in Kiev don't want to observe the Minsk agreement. Yeah, but I think uh, Russia will never be successful at like doing anything to Ukraine. Why do you think so? Yeah, because till now, you might have seen the result. Everything, they are not so successful till now. They might have destroyed lots of things, but they aren't like... They might have thought, okay, they're gonna like con conquer Ukraine in like a week or that, but they have not been successful. I don't think... Ukraine is not Georgia. It's much bigger country and it has larger army. So I don't yeah, think... But, but Russia is like one of the biggest army in the whole world, right? So, yes. and Russia has got so many things in comparison to Ukraine. So I think till now it's a lost, lost situation for Russia, I guess. Uh, well, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, Kiev, I mean, Kiev is still encircled. Yeah, but it's not owned by Russia till yet, right? Mm -hmm. And I think um, they are not going to give up, like, the whole scenario right now. They are trying to fight for their country. And I think Russia has lost, lost lots of manpower, lots of resources, I guess. Well, there are a lot of misinformation. Ukraine says that they killed around, like... 15,000 Russians, I think it's not true. Ukraine is exaggerating Russia's losses and minimizing it, their own losses. Mm, okay, yeah, that can be true as well. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, you? I'm fine too. Where are you from? Uh, Italy, you? Italy, I'm from Russia. I see you on your flag. Yes, I am from Russia. Yeah, я говорю по-русски. А, хорошо, я тоже по-русски говорю. Неплохо, неплохо. Ну хорошо, неплохо, да. Итальянец. Итальянец. Окей, maybe we should speak English for this video. Okay, of course. Okay, of course. Thank you. So, I'm actually talking about the current situation, the conflict. So, have you do, do you have you picked the side? 
Mm, I don't think I have picked a side. Okay, I I support in the in the current situation in Ukraine. I think yeah. I support the, the right to independence of every uh, ethnic group. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think that uh, uh, Donetsk or Lugansk Republic have to right mm -hmm. to determine. Uh, uh their uh, respective uh, fate mm -hmm. okay absolutely and for C crimea too okay yes yes but the but government in kiev is... but the government in kiev says no you you can't have self determination they in 2014 they sent neo nazi paramilitary battalions to suppress donbass but uh... yes of course but you have you have to think about uh, that situation in relation to a threat to a sovereign country. Of course, Ukraine uh, thinks that uh, Donbass uh, is a part of, uh, the, uh, of uh, its uh, own uh, country, o uh, occupied by military or uh, military and terrorists, they call, they call uh, them. Well, I don't call them terrorists, I call them yes, freedom fighters. Freedom yes, fighters. Of course. It's a different point of view. Yeah. Ukrainian people call the call them uh, in that way. Probably mm -hmm. is 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 a simplification, oversimplification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But yes. I think, uh, but on the other side, I think that uh, a part of Ukraine, okay, mm -hmm. okay because probably uh, after this war, uh, Ukraine uh, uh, will be dismembered, okay, probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I don't know part, either. I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. but a part of Ukraine, more eastern one, okay, mm -hmm. has the right to determine uh, uh, their future. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Its future. Sorry. Yes. 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 I see. What do you think about that? Well, I think that. Uh... Ukrainian army should surrender and the government should change. Maybe some of the, like some parts of Ukraine should join Russia. And I don't mind Ukraine being independent, but in an alliance with Russia, for me, Ukraine joining NATO, NATO is unacceptable. Why? Because you think that it, uh, it could be a military threat for uh, Russia? Yes, it, it absolutely could be a military threat to Russia. Yes. Because they have a lot of, uh, uh weapon factories yeah a lot of uh i don't know nuclear uh, yeah implants. nuclear yes okay i i can understand that but mm -hmm. i'm not totally i'm not not totally okay with the, the full invasion of uh, uh ukraine okay mm -hmm. okay i know that uh, in russia uh someone uses or um, put into uses the expression special military operation mm -hmm. okay yes yes but uh, i'm not okay totally with that okay it's comprehensible of course it's comprehensible but i'm not so mm -hmm. okay okay thank you for your point of view i appreciate to chat to a thinking person on omegle Okay, but uh, you are recording this? Yes, I am recording this. And you are putting this where? On YouTube. On YouTube, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, have a good one, have a good night. Bye, bye my friend. Bye. Do svidania. Do svidania. Hello. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up with you, my friend? Yeah, no, hello. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, where are you from? Um, take a guess. United States? No, definitely not. Not? United nah. Kingdom? Yep. Okay, the United Kingdom. I I'm actually from Russia. Oh, you nice. See? Yeah, you see the flag? I'm from Russia. It's a cool flag. Yeah, thank you. So, um, I'm actually talking about the, you know, the current Russia-Ukraine situation, the conflict. So, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, who do you support, Russia or Ukraine, in this war? Uh, or neither. you support neither side? Neither, really. It's just interesting to watch. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, uh, you don't mind if I'm actually recording this? Oh, I am too. 
Okay, okay. I'm recording this. Mm-hmm. You you wear a you wear a mask, so it's uh, they're not gonna recognize you. Yeah, mask man, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, do you think NATO will intervene in the conflict? They'll, they'll, they'll do something eventually, I reckon. Yeah. They'll, uh... Like uh, directly intervene, not just supplying weapons or equipment. They're, they're probably bound to send in troops. It, it depends how badly this this escalates for them, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, do you think Russia will win? I think Russia will soon win, and Kiev will be taken. Yeah, uh, it's they are going to have to win eventually. Like, mm-hmm. there's just not enough supply for them to keep up. Yeah, and the Ukrainian army—they really should surrender. I mean. If, if if they want to carry on fighting, they can. If they think they can win, let them. Yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. So, have you heard about foreign like mercenaries from Western countries got killed in a missile strike? Yeah, it's, it's been happening a lot, isn't it? That kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think people should, in, like, if they're volunteers, they they if if they want to go to fight like voluntarily, they can, but. They really shouldn't. Like, have you heard about the most efficient Canadian sniper? Was he was his name <laughs> Wally? He got killed recently. I think it's confirmed. Yeah, I, I saw that. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> and the the irony is this: that he was killed by a sniper bullet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate for him. Okay, so. Um, mm. You live in the UK, so uh, I heard there were there has been a lot of anti-Russian racism in Germany and other like countries. Uh, uh, Russian musical pieces getting off concerts, like Russian cats got banned. Uh, it's crazy, dude. Mm, so it's it's pretty severe. It's it's just affecting random Russians. It doesn't really do a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. If you hate Putin or the Russian government, direct their hate at them. But why harass any random Russian person just because he or she is Russian? That's that's stupid. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> do you know any Russians in person? There are. Um, no? Not in not in real life. No. Mm. Have you met any like Russians on Omegle b- besides me? Uh, probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for talking to me. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Bye, bye. Have a good night. Yes. Okay, I think that's enough. Anyway, this has been Soviet Russian Bear. Peace, love and prosperity to all of my beautiful, amazing, wonderful subscribers. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you like my channel and my content, please click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Anyway, Soviet version bear out. До свидания.